Happy Saturday morning, friends. It's Lori, and I am back with week three of the Spooky or Sweet Halloween Collab 2022. This is hosted by Kathy's Favorite Things and Rebecca Creates. Twelve of us are participating in this four-week series. Week one was creating a memdex, and this was mine. Week two, last week, I created the embellishments, and this is probably my favorite. It's the 3D week. Um, so we needed to either create a 3D project or alter an item. Um, I knew I wanted to create this 3D cauldron. And I don't know how well you can see it. Um, because it does stand upright about oops sorry about that let's talk a second about what I used um, super simple literally a two-piece die from KS crafts and I apologize I'm not positive if this is the large or small but it only needs these two pieces this piece creates the sides and there are seven sides here and then this is simply for the bottom so this is what each side looks like and I thought I could show you quickly how I put this together but let me kind of say a little more about it first so I did the base in black and then I cut more of these to create these like overlaid panels. And I simply cut off the bottom piece, these two top pieces, and all of these tabs. And then I stitched and adhered that. And what that does is it makes it really, really durable. But I also, the black is just, it's too black. Um, I absolutely love this paper. This is from the A Little Scary Collection by Fancy Pants. And I'm, I'm such a cat fan. I mean, if you watch any of my videos, good golly, or my cat's walking through them or I'm talking about it. Um, so this is perfect. And then I filled this with some shred and oh, I think I'm beyond clever today. I found these little bath bombs at, I, I don't know, it was um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's a package of them, and it reminds me of the bubbles from a cauldron. I mean, come on, it's clever, right? So I had to put some of those in, thought it would be fun to gift. I did put feet on the bottom, and I simply used some beads and hot glued them. To do it over, I'm not sure I would do that. I think I like it sitting flat better. Um, it does give it a little more sturdiness. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, but I think I probably should have spaced them a little wider just so it'd be cuter. Um, I embellished it really simply. Initially, I was just going to do a bow around, and then I thought, you know, I'm not sure that's quite enough. So I just took some, some tool and cut sort of like fishtail banners out of it and layered it over and under again. My new favorite dye, the Coco Reno, um, what do they call it? The like scrunched um, banner, ruffled, ruffled banner dye, um, just in a, a simple orange white pattern. Layered that in between and then more ephemera from a little scary collection. This came from somewhere different, but I mean, how perfect is that? And then I found these balloons. I think this was also in the ephemera pack and just sort of staggered those and layered those up through a spider web on one, a little um, spider there. And that's, that's it. But I think it's super cute. So let me show you, and I am going to link up this die. It is available on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if I got it there. Allie actually got it last year and made, I think, a couple of them, but this is the first I'm using it this year. So I want to show you real quick how this works. You cut out seven of these. This is going to be the bottom, actually, yeah, that's the bottom piece, and these are all going to go together and end up adhering. This is the top, and you know, I've seen the top 
go together a couple ways. I I like it like this where they fold in. Some people have actually folded it out. Um, I think it's personal preference. To me, a real cauldron does kind of have that lip that goes over top. So what I do then is bend that in and bend that out. And then each of these are going to bend out like that. So, you know, you can kind of see then how that's going to form around. And do the same thing on the next one. And you literally do this, do this seven times. And then each that folds under, each tab folds to the side. These are scored really well. Um, and I will also say on this heavier black cardstock, I was able to cut three at a time off my machine, which made, you know, the die cutting part pretty easy. All right, so here's what I do. All right, so let's put one of these together. So hot glue gun, for me, it's a must. I did try it with my liquid glue, totally possible. Just would take so much longer um, because you've got to do these first two and let that grab hold before I can move down, then I literally do one at a time. I don't see how you could use liquid glue and do more than one at a time because you have seven panels to put together. Can you appreciate the amount of time that would take? So what I do is this one first, and then I'm going to line that up. And you can see, you think, wait, what? This isn't going to work. Trust me, it does. Ah, made a mess. That's okay. It's probably going to get covered. All right. Now we're going to go with this one. Remember how I said we wanted to bend those? So this is where it's starting to make sense. Now you can kind of see how these are going to start to create the shape. And then here, you can do a couple at a time um, if you wanna move ahead, because these will go pretty quick. Can you see what I'm doing here? You just need a smidge of glue, a smidge, that's it. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna grab hold. I tuck it from the back, make sure it's secure, and then just keep going with a smidge of glue. I try and keep it on the lower side so it doesn't blend out. You can see though, I'm not using much. That one, and that one, and now you're seeing that bend take, take place there. All right, and then this last one, just a smidge and on to the next panel, and you just keep going. You see how that shape happens, because these score lines, you've already worked on those. Um, so these are now gonna bend in, and you see how there's a little bit of overlap? Once I get the whole piece put together, then I go back and put a smidge of glue there so that I've got a solid, sturdy lip. And then on the bottom, these are gonna all piece together like, like so, and then this is going to sit in. I do cut four of these. I put two together. One's gonna go on the bottom, and then I put another one on the inside, um, another set of two on the inside. So the base is sandwiched really snug. All right, so that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Again, there are 12 of us participating in this hop. Um, everybody's going to be linked below. I encourage you, grab a cup of coffee, you know, take an hour or so and scroll through those. You're going to see some really terrific Halloween ideas in a wide variety. Again, everything this week is 3D or altered. So for me, I don't know, 3D projects are probably one of my most favorites. Um... They're more creative. I know they're a little more time consuming, but 
I don't know. I, I really, I really love this folks. Seriously. So enjoy. Um, if you're a new subscriber, thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Um, you don't know how it makes my day every time, um, I log on and see, I've, I picked up another subscriber or two. If you're not, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Um, hit the bell so you're notified when next week's project hits. And next week is going to be Crafter's Choice. Not giving you any hints, um, but it's going to wrap up the series. And then again, we're going to have this cohesive collection of... Halloween projects, and I'm so glad you're along for this ride. Have a great weekend.